and I came across a unheard of principle that I have not seen any facts in books or heard of to myself. I started with an aluminum bar, copper bar, for the first experiment, and later we have an iron bar, an aluminum bar, they're about a foot in the ground. I have hooked up my meter, which is in uh, the circuit, the ground, and the aluminum and copper being part of that circuit. also have my oscilloscope. I have it set on the DC component. If I put it on the ground, you can see it goes to uh, zero. So that's about right now 0.647, about 0.65. We'll write that down. That's a resting voltage. And that's the voltage between copper and the aluminum pole with the ground as part of the circuit. What I stumbled across was that I was putting the aluminum pole into the ground in the circuit, the voltage would spike up. That was unheard of by vibrating or striking the aluminum, the voltage would go up. We'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. This is how I strike it. And watch the voltage. We're 1.1 volts. It almost doubled the voltage by striking the aluminum. You can see how slowly it's going back down. It's still generating some type of energy, free energy or such even when not being struck. This is very odd to me. That was the resting voltage, 0.645. We're still at 0.745. This is still generating a type of uh, voltage. We can also watch this on the oscilloscope and you'll see that the voltage corresponds to the striking. then slowly come down again. I thought at first perhaps it was some type of just making better contact from the striking. But if that was such, as soon as I would stop, it would go straight back down. But it does not. Also, from the vibration of the striking, I would think that it would have an AC component. But this is a DC component being produced from the striking and it continues even after the striking is stopped. Now we're going to go to the copper post. I'm going to change my hand so we can get this better. I'm going to strike the copper post. Same method and we'll watch the voltage. About 7.5, 0 0.75. Doesn't really change, if anything, it reduces the voltage. So something very strange is going on with this struck aluminum voltage. Next I prepared an experiment with the iron pole and the aluminum pole. We'll go ahead and connect that circuit up. We're still 
uh, we'll see a change but it's entirely different we now have an iron pole it's a mild steel but iron steel would work okay I'm going to strike the aluminum pole we have now a resting voltage of about point oh oh seven so we'll write that down so the existing potential between the aluminum and iron with the uh, that being in the circuit is about point oh oh six point oh oh seven we're gonna go ahead and strike the iron pole first That'll uh, show what I'm wanting to eventually show. It goes up a little bit. But not much. Someone like the copper. Now, yeah, just so you can see that's what I was hitting. This is the method. Just a struck with the hammer. Okay. Now we use the same method. We'll strike the aluminum. We're up over 400, or 0.45, there's a 0.5, that's a half a volt. We went from the resting voltage, remember that was 0.007, that's almost zero. We went up to 0.5. Watch out on the voltage uh, spike on the oscilloscope. You see it rise. And then slowly go back down. We're still producing some type of charge. And you can see, remember the resting voltage was 0.007 or so, almost zero. This will continue for several minutes. Quite amazing to me. We'll go ahead and strike that again. And watch the we were well over uh, half a volt there by striking the aluminum. I've not heard of this before. It's quite a mystery to me. If it was a piezo effect, the uh, voltage after the striking would instantly go to zero. This does not. We're going to go ahead and hook up the aluminum and the copper again one more time There again, what's the voltage? Well, it's struck. We've got about uh, 0 0.6 uh, resting voltage. It's up a little bit yet because it's still holding the charge. If you remember right, uh, we started out with uh, 0.45. So yet, we're still producing some type of charge even after several minutes. Okay, we'll go ahead and strike this. over 1.1 uh, volts from the resting voltage about 0.645 so we have a gain of uh, 
half a volt. So that's uh, pretty consistent for the aluminum iron. It wasn't quite half a volt. <laughs> 